Mambo Caribou Queer 2. I am back with another video. This one is very different. I think this is the first video, no, that's a lie. I have done a video whereby I've shared my filming equipment. So this is the second video whereby I'm sharing um, a collection of something, like things that I have collected. And for this video, I'm gonna be sharing some of the games I've collected. Most of them are from this year, I do believe. 2022 has been a year by continuing my self-love journey as well as invest in new games. I've become very fond of games, so I'll be sharing that in this video. These are games ranging from a lot of these games are games where I'll play with myself. They're basically questions that will help me to know myself better or help me to be a better human being. And then some of them are party games and then some of them are probably to play with like friends or couples and stuff. So let's get into the video. Okay, before we continue, I'll have all these games linked in the description box below. If I haven't linked them, please ask me in the comment section and I will remember to link them. <laughs> okay, so for the first game is called Two Sam. So this game is to be played with two people. It's a two player conversation starter game. So pair up and answer the ultimate me or you questions and see how well you know each other. So it's a good game to play with your partner or to play with your friend. I've never played it, but I look forward to playing it. All right, so the second game is called Camera Roll, the game of your pictures. And this one has 288 subject and search up cards. And this is our party game. Camera roll is your reason to show off that cute selfie that you took six months ago. Just find a photo that connects to a subject card. Everyone who finds a photo gets a point. Score bonus points for being the first. If your photo matches the subject or phrase on the card. So basically you're supposed to collect as many cards as you can and by that you become the winner. Again, this is also a party game and this is to be played by people age 12 and above. And I'm not sure how many players can do this. Oh, three plus players, so here's another one. Okay, this next one is called the Icebreaker Deeper Talk. And this is by the company called Best Self and it has 150 prompts. So this is great for one-on-one -on -one conversation and group conversa conversations. I am going to pick up one. This is how it looks like on the inside. Let's see. Alright, so I'm gonna pick up one from the red ones and see if I could answer it. What beliefs do you want to pass on to your children or grandchildren? Ooh. Okay, so something I'd like to pass on to my children and grandchildren would just be basically just to be respectful. Respect especially for the elderly because I feel like elders are very essential in our societies and sometimes, especially our society these days, we take the elderly for granted. So that's something I'd like to just pass on and also respect people's cultures. Something that I believe my parents imprinted in us that even though you might believe something differently but don't be the cause of someone's um kukwazika i don't know what that is in english kukwazika don't cause someone okay so this is in a religious point of view even if you believe let's say some religions some places believe like braiding your hair is a sin and then some people know that it's not a sin however if you go to a culture whereby they believe that don't go there with braids. Like, don't be your reason someone's relationship with God is hindered. Basically, that's the point. So don't be respectful and don't be a hindrance to someone's belief. Or try as much as possible to believe, to respect people's beliefs and culture. So, yes, that was a long explanation. The next one is called Anxious. And this is by the company... We are, oh, we are not strangers. We, we are not really strangers. I have a lot of their games. This is one of them. Um, it's called Anxious. And basically it's for when you're feeling anxious. There have been moments where I've been feeling quite anxious and I try to deal with that. But I bought this recently and next time I'm feeling anxious, 
you bet i'm gonna be opening this okay let me just cover all the games i have from we are not really strangers by the way um we're not really strangers if you're watching this you could sponsor a girl you know anywho this is another one it's called the friendship edition i had this before i don't know where i kept it so i got another one recently in the back it says you don't need a lot of best friends just the right ones and yeah i hope one day i might make a video playing this with some of my friends so stay tuned for that but that's a good one next on that list is called the forgiveness edition again from we're not really strangers and on the back it just says time to forgive yourself too again uh, i don't know i don't know how to explain it this is more of a self buy it's a game i'll play with myself by myself and maybe i might just have a whole series of we're not really strangers um questions because i feel like they have they have some good prompts in here all right another one that i have is the self-love edition that's obvious i've been on a self journey for a while now and i definitely needed this in my kit of games so this one says time to fall in love with myself now this one i know i have answered so let me see if i can grab a question in here when was the last time i shared my truth even though it felt risky I can't remember when the last time was, but there's a truth that I need to share at some point. Whether it's risky or not, I don't know, but it's something that we just have to share. But maybe the last time was maybe two weeks ago. Somebody asked me a question and I feel like my response was not what I wanted to hear, but I had to be honest with them. So yeah. Okay, the next game is better than yesterday this one i bought during friends giving that was like early november early last month so these are 365 daily challenges to live a more confident fulfilling and carefree life i'm very excited to play this one and some of the prompts that by yourself these are today strike up a conversation with someone you don't know post a throwback photo of you as a kid write down one thing you need to forgive yourself for give out three high fives to strangers so those are all great prompts so i'm very excited about this one next oh the next one is called bad people find out what your friends really think about you we played this during the last year's christmas party and i think it was fun i would definitely suggest this for a party game it's for ages 17 and above and it's three to ten players and it takes about 26 minutes so some of the prompts are something like whose parents are the most disappointed in them <clears throat> most likely to get a tattoo they will later regret who leaves the smallest tips at restaurants and it is this so highly would recommend this and my latest edition which i'm very happy about is called do it yourself therapy Table topics, questions to start great conversations. I think these are questions that you can play with other people or you can play with yourself. I plan to play this with myself. So yeah, there are 135 questions and some of the questions are things like, do you sweat the small stuff? If there's one thing no one understands about you, what is it? That's a good question. And whose parents do you wish you had whose parents do you wish you had yes so 18 and up and there are 135 questions okay so that is my game collection i will probably be adding more oh i forgot to add more <laughs> i'm sorry another one from the we are not really strangers collection is the self-reflection one again this one I'm also not open, so maybe you should open it, you guys, right? I feel it's unnecessary for them to have this. This is wastage of paper, so look, I've been talking to them like they will hear me. But we're not really strangers. You don't need this plastic, to be honest. Okay, we opened one, and let's pick a question. Here's a question to close this on. What expectation have I set on someone that has been hurting me the most? Oh, that's a good one. Okay, so the expectation I've set, I have 
this particular person in my life and a lot of times that I expect them to be honest with me and just be transparent with me but they're unable to do that I wish they could because of the point in our encounter relationship it's not a relationship like that but in a relationship whereby they could be honest with me and they could be transparent with me and sometimes be brutally honest but at this point they are unable to do that and sometimes it bothers me because I don't understand why again I feel like it's my problem because I want them to be transparent to them me I wish they could be transparent with me it's an expectation of both of them but I don't know if it's an expectation they're gonna live up to so okay so that's the end of the video if you like me to play one of these games and make a video out of it please let me know and I shall deliver so thank you so much for watching and remember to keep spreading the African love whatever kind of love you have to offer because there's no room for hate again the links to these games will be in the description below also if you've not subscribed subscribe and also follow me on instagram because my instagram is banging slay oh joking that was cheesy anyways bye